Hello Driving Intelligence Community. I want to focus this video on misfires and why it's important to get these taken care of as quickly as possible with modern engines. When misfires occur because of inoperable ignition components, it releases air and fuel from the cylinder into the exhaust and then into the catalytic converter. When it enters the catalytic converter, it actually increases the internal temperature of the catalytic converter because it's designed to burn unburned hydrocarbons in air before it's exited out your tailpipe therefore converting it into innocuous chemicals like CO2 and water. When that raw fuel and air that hasn't been burnt, that extra raw fuel and air that hasn't been burnt because of the inoperable ignition components enters the catalytic converter, temperatures inside that unit increase dramatically and what it will do is cause the internal components to melt. And when that melts, you have an ineffective catalytic converter, but you can also plug that catalytic converter. When this happens, the upstream and downstream O2 sensors send information to the ECU telling the ECU that the catalytic converter is not operating properly anymore. And you'll either get a P0420 or P0430, which is an indication of an inefficiency issue with the catalytic converter. I've recently dealt with this on a 2016 Ford Explorer. A friend of mine brought it by and uh, the first time he had a P0430 which indicated a bank 2 sensor issue and uh, what happened is previously he had a, a horrendous engine misfire and by the time we got to replacing the coils and the plugs and I'll link that video above and below, uh, the damage had already been done. He had had so many misfires that it, it caused damage to the catalytic converter on the bank 2 side. Well, once we got that all straightened out, and I resolved that with another video I'll link above and below, uh, he went on his way, and unfortunately, he started having another misfire on bank one, cylinder two. And we waited too long to get that replaced, and unfortunately, as I've just indicated, that caused damage to the bank one catalytic converter, so we got a P0420. So what's the moral of this story? Well, I've got two for you. Uh, the first one is, as I indicated at the beginning of this video, you want to make sure you get engine misfires taken care of as quickly as possible to prevent significant engine damage. Now in this case it didn't impact the engine, but it did impact the catalytic converter, and to replace that is several hundred to over a thousand dollars. Now the second moral is, go with OEM components. The, the coils that we put on this vehicle were aftermarket, we tried to go the cheap route out, and they're just junk. Uh, the OEM coils, as I understand it, through different sources, are the best way to go. They last longer, and in some cases with modern Ford coils, for example, they just don't fail. You need to replace the boot or the spark plug, but the coil itself is designed so robustly that it just doesn't fail. So I have another video that I'll share where on my 2002 F-150, I'm running JEGS coils, and I've, I've not had a problem with them. But to be honest, my catalytic converter efficiency is not as good, and it's not because of the JEGS coils, it's because I had misfires that I didn't get taken care of right away, which might have caused some minor damage to the catalytic converters, causing the exact issues I'm talking about in this video. So anyway, uh, heed this advice, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, please comment below, please subscribe and share, and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.